what is one thing that homesteaders don't talk about? Um, for me, that is the amount of projects that are on our lists that we either don't complete or we are severely behind on completing. And I swear, come springtime, that list just explodes of everything that needs to be done and stuff that we're just not getting completed. Um, for me right now, that would be planting these babies. Um, they are severely overgrown. I had all intentions of getting them in the ground around Mother's Day weekend. It is now Memorial weekend, so I am a little bit behind. I haven't even got my garden prepped yet, which is something that I um, have had on my list for a while um, now to have that all done. I have this beautiful pile of um, wood chips that I still need to get laid out. Instead, my chickens, as you can see down around the bottom here, they have done a better job at spreading it than I have. So um, today I am going to get out here and get this going. I've got to get these plants in the ground before I lose them. You can see some of these um, pumpkins and stuff are looking a little yellow and kind of sad. So they're ready to get um, transplanted. So um, yeah, I have weeds growing up in my garden right now that I had under control at first and then um, over last weekend we actually went on a trip to the coast um, and it rained the whole time we were gone and so everything in the garden weed wise has exploded um, and so now I've got a little bit more um, of a job to do to get the weeds cleared out of here. So this is going to be part two of my garden <laughs> cleanup. Two boxes done on this side and three boxes left to do on this side. Change of plans. I was going to top this box off, but I'm going to take this upper section and the upper section off of this box and I'm going to place them um, over in this area and get a couple more garden boxes out of them. A little before shot of what the garden looks like. I've already got um, some of the manure in a couple of the boxes. Gonna take a moment to pull up the rest of this weed barrier cloth. It's not really protecting against weeds anymore, as you can tell. Last year, before the growing season, I ended up getting a bunch of cardboard boxes and I layered them around on the ground before I put the garden boxes in. They are kind of deteriorating um, and allowing some of the weeds to grow through, so I'm going to try to get some of this cleaned up. Like this stuff right here, um, some of these little guys, and some of the bigger weeds pulled before I get the wood chips put in here.
did a pretty decent job of getting the weed barrier pulled up and some of the weeds scraped so um, you can kind of see that they are um, looking pretty sad It's day two. Um, it was hot this afternoon. We also had a barbecue, so we're just trying to take advantage of this cool weather tonight to get um, the wood chips into the garden um, and get further along so I can get these garden boxes planted. I'm gonna have to have the girls come through and get some of these big sticks out so we can throw them in the burn barrel and I don't have to worry about tripping over them, but I'm not exactly sure how thick I'm going to spread this out. Probably, I don't know, I've got enough. I could do a couple good inches um, and hopefully that will help minimize the weeds growing in here. Good job, love. <laughs> Yesterday, I decided that I was going to take apart a couple of the double stacked garden boxes and move some over in this area. So while I was throwing wood chips over the fence, I was thinking about how I wanted to lay it out. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. I ended up um, getting them kind of set up. So now I just need to work on getting them filled. I removed the double stacked box right here and the double stacked box right here. And I put one of them there and one of them there. And then I had this one extra. So I kind of laid them out, which I think kind of, I don't know, squares up this area. Um, I do have this box that has double stacked that I may take down and put that one um, over in this area. Undecided at that moment because I would have to remove some dirt. And then I'm going to leave that one as is because I have raspberries planted in them. This is what I've kind of got going on so far and hopefully um, I can get most of this done so I can get some plants in the garden boxes tomorrow. Wouldn't that be nice to get some plants planted? Mm -hmm. It certainly like would. Cats. I know you do, because you helped me so well with getting them the seeds started, huh? Yeah, inside the you did, inside the greenhouse, which you can see all of those plants right there. Those are all my pumpkins I in this area. Them. I've actually been watering them when we're gone on our trip. Yep, yep. I think they got really watered while we were gone, so um, I'm just going to continue shoveling. They're really big. Yes, they are. Um, I'm going to continue shoveling uh, wood chips over in here and get this yuckiness all covered up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the wrong tool. Kind of. What? Not too bad. Nah. Kind of pushes it. I'll pull it, not push it. You'd be better off with a rake. Yeah, then I bit. Better off with not these two so I don't get stuff and so I even have to dig it out.
so I have to show you the baby is up on the porch entertaining herself and screaming at the top of her lungs at anybody or anything that will listen and it's pretty freaking cute. Hi lady! <coughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi! We're also having a pretty sunset, so I'm gonna take you guys over to enjoy that too. I think that's about all that I'm going to um, get recorded tonight. I'm gonna try to work a little bit more in the garden. I'm not sure how much more it is getting pretty late, which means that I'm going to have to get kids to bed. So, um, anyways, that is a good start for this weekend, and yeah, hopefully we can get more of this completed.